Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy. Hello Gary, he's looking at me through the window, spying on me. So, hi. Um, yeah, I've been to um, Aldi. I kept seeing everybody with their yarny purchases and um, thinking, don't really need to go get more yarn, but you know what it's like. <laughs> I kept seeing it all and thinking, that looks interesting. That looks nice. So, although I've been out a fair bit and I wasn't going to go out anymore, I did. I ventured out just to have a little look and see what they've got. Now, the funny thing about Aldi that I've noticed is that this time of year when this, it's spring and warm, and it, actually it's uncharacteristically hot here at the minute, but um, one thing I've noticed is they get out the thick yarns. Like all those really thick winter ones that you should have had months and months and months ago, they bring them out now which is weird so this sort of yarn event for this sort of time like spring early summer spring one is usually where they bring out chenille and the thick yarn so um i did get some chenille and uh, every time i get their chenille i say i'll make something with it this time and i never do but i think one of the problems that i do have been guilty of um before is to just buy two the quantities are too small so um, I'm kind of trying to get over that by buying a bit more instead of getting all the different yarns to show just uh, getting some and buying the quantity of that one that I might actually use. So that being said I went a bit <laughs> overboard with one of them I think. I've got loads. So anyway I didn't buy masses and masses of different types because um, the Aldi here is smaller and they don't tend to have as much um, in this particular one as they do on the mainland. The mainland um, usually has about two or three huge dump bins full of it. Whereas over here they have the two smaller ones. And um, you know when they've got the character kits, you can usually get loads on the mainland, but not here. So yeah, I did buy old bit of this and um, it's quite interesting I've never used and excuse the rustling I can't find my um, microphone I don't know what I've done with it but if I put my foot right there hopefully it won't knock my tripod so yeah I bought this and uh, I find this rather intriguing it's the only one that they've got at the moment that has got the um, pattern on it um, usually they have a free pattern on the side, but um, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've just got at the back of me is a conservatory, it goes all the way around the house, and I've just seen Gary attacking something. Looks like a, a warrior with a sword, but it's actually Gary being attacked by a couple of wasps. I had loads of wasps in today. I swear to God, I've had about six already. And I keep ushering them out the window, angering them. But I think Gary has really angered that one. <laughs> I have to say that it's the funniest thing I've ever seen anyway. So, yeah, there is a cushion cover pattern. He's still at it. It's so funny. I've got some spray out there. I don't know if I, maybe I should tell him. But uh, yeah, this cushion cover, I don't know if it's knitted or, or if it's crocheted. It looks knitted to me. But um, they, you, sorry about the banging, that's Gary doing battle with the wasp. <laughs> it's so funny. Sorry, he is kind of, um, it's not a comedy sketch, really. I'm going to try not to drop my bag of yarn. But I get my specs and see what we can see. I don't like the yarn bands on these things. This one isn't quite as bad as the others, but because the green, the like pale green here is not too bad. But some of them, it's darker and you can't read the band. Well, I can't read the band, even with glasses on. So that's nothing. So they're saying this is super chunky, which is a six. So that would be... Um, so bulky is a bulky five, isn't it? So this would be a super bulky for you guys over there in the US. And it's um, 200 gram ball. So it's got only got 96 meters. So it is quite, um, quite thick, this one. Uh, let me see. It's called sand. 
doesn't look much like sand but um i like the colors it's got a nice sand color here i guess and it's got two different grays by the looks of it or is that just to where it fades and a nice brown and creaminess to it yeah I like that so I bought one two it's gonna fall on the floor if I'm not careful let's push it three four five and there's more never used anything this bulky it's actually the f it's good look at that excuse me look at that it's really quite thick isn't it huge it's like rope anyway to me i've never used anything that big so that's six seven eight nine ten so ten of those and they are 3.99 so that's rather a lot really isn't it to well, not to be it's not a lot in money but i bought rather a lot of it they've only had one more ball of it and um it was right at the back of the bin and if i'd been say eight foot tall i might have reached it but they don't have any devices to help you get stuff so there was just no chance um i can't now remember what i was going to look at so you can't iron it you it's got a 30 degree wash i think that's a doesn't got a hand but um i don't know what you what i'm gonna make with it is so big i'm, I'm planning on making either a rug or a, a blanket with all of that now they did have some individual colors um uh, the same thickness so perhaps i should have had a look and see if i could have got a plain one to go with it which would have broken up the color um but i was a bit too um in a hurry really and i spent a fortune so i didn't really sorry want to spend any more so yeah i've got some more chenille and i don't know why because i haven't i've only ever used a little bit of the chenille and um i keep saying i'm going to use what i've got oh, sorry it's just a bit um hard to maneuver I'm drowning in yarn that's better so anyway i got this one which um has got like a little filmy bit and i've got one out as well it's really nice and soft this does seal up again which is handy so this there's four in these now previously when i bought this the first time it was really stiff you couldn't do this with it and um, the second time was better but this i'd say is the better one the, the this is the best of the chenille that I've seen from there. It's nice and lovely and soft, in fact. Where to put my glasses too far out reach, excuse me. And um, I did buy one that was these colorways before, but it was white and it just had a little fleck of these, but this has got far more color in it, which uh, I have kind of liked. So it just drew me. And this is 95 meters, 100% polyester, 100 gram ball. And it's called Stripe Blue Green. No pattern on this one, just a plain band, but lovely and soft. So I'm quite impressed with that. And I got, so I've got four skeins there, and I've got another four, and I've got another four. So that should be 12 skeins, should be enough to make something quite substantial really um and i have got other colors i've got a mint from before i've got four skeins of mint and i've got four skeins of blue and four skeins of darker blue so and probably some old dusty blue so i've got loads of it if i wanted to make something on the large side then i could do it now i filmed this video in the other room earlier because uh yesterday i filmed my pound stretcher yarn haul and everybody said oh that's so much better color wise like and um brightness so i tried to do it in there and i was just a big yellow blob because the light was so bright today i don't know what time of day i filmed the other one but obviously the sun is now at the front and um then a van went by and it was white and the sun bounced off the van and um even though it was all the way over to the road 
and I just became a big white blob so I thought oh well I'll just delete that one and start again so I came in here to do it so that's why you're in the bedroom with me so um, I also bought some fat quarters I've not bought fat quarters before I've seen them and I've been intrigued by the little cute bundle of colors they have a good selection of fat quarters in actually and I like these ones because they remind me of Kath Kidston and my sewing box when I eventually get it is looks like this so um but i thought these were quite nice there's a kind of a pinky um looks like paisley and then there's a little flowery one little daisy vide um then there's some paper and then there's a spotty one and there's this one which is kind of nice like leaves and then the greeny flowery one so i thought instead of you know, if I wanted to line anything, I could try and do a bit of a pretty lining. Uh, I don't have a sewing machine, so it'd be a bit of a a bit of a mission, but I can do it. <clears throat> so I bought those as well. And as you know, uh, if you've been watching me for a little while, I've been trying to save some, when I see pretty coloured Darren, rather than the usual, um, I've been trying to get some together. So I managed to get a lilac. Now this one's called purple but it's not purple to me purple's darker and this is actually showing a little bit darker than it really is it's kind of more of a lilac but it's a nice bright lilac it's 4.99 which i think is a bit um, expensive from them because it's a it's a 400 gram ball i think let me find my spe specs out of reach i don't know what that was oh i've got two pairs oh these are the ones that are way too strong Never mind. Um, where are we? 400 grams. Sorry about the top of my head. 75% acrylic and 25% wool. Um, 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 anything else I can tell you? Not a great deal on here. Um, same sort of washing instructions as before. 30 degrees. No pattern. But it is a lilac rather than a purple. I think it is showing just a little bit darker. It's more of a more of a vibrant colour I have to say but yeah I like that colour and um, that would be a nice one to put with me little selection of, of Aran yarns so now I've got a bit of a problem because I've got nowhere to store it <clears throat> I cleared off I'm gonna clear off my fluffy shelf I've got a, a, a shelf of fluffy yarns so I'm gonna clear off the fluffy set shelf and um, put some there but I tried to get some more of those big bucket things that I got. You know, I can't remember what you guys call them. I just call them tubs. So I tried to get some more of those. And um, they only had the shallow ones, which wouldn't have really held much. So um, the ones I've got don't hold a great deal, I must admit. I've seen bigger. But I just I didn't want them to be big and ugly. I thought I'd try, I thought I'd try and get another couple, but they didn't have any. Which is uh, a shame. So um, I'm going to have a bit of fun trying to find somewhere to stash it. I have got another section. I've got a whole, the top, whole half of the top, really. Half of the top. Um, to cram it in. <laughs> well, it'll be fun trying to figure it out. So thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. I might do a live later. Um, I don't know. It depends if I get chance to. Um, but if not, I will see you tomorrow for Vida. And, um, but I might do, I might, I might be able to get on and uh, say hello for a little one. And uh, thanks for watching. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And um, check out my videos. So bye for now, everyone. Stay safe.